I think in the dance world, we have kind of a negative connotation towards mimicry, and yet joining somebody in their movement or in their embodiment, taking it on as your own, in a certain way, you could say it's, it's one of the most instinctive uh, natural things that we do. My name is Chris Aiken and I am teaching contact improvisation and I'm co-teaching advanced improvisation with Angie Hauser. And also I'm organizing and directing uh, Moving in the Moment. <laughs> Moving in the Moment at Bates Dance Festival is a concert where the faculty and guest artists and staff are invited to participate in an improvised evening length performance. I've been doing it now for 20 years. First it was Nancy Stark Smith and I, and then later it was uh, Angie and I. A big part of what we're doing tonight involves all of you because our energy is connected to your energy. It really is about community building. There's often 10 musicians and 12 to 15 dancers. I really feel that moving in the moment is a, like a, a real slice of humanity because when you get all those people together, working together confidently, it's really inspiring to the audience and the students. They see their teachers who are world famous artists get into situations that are tricky and then they have to get themselves out of them. So you see them in all of their humility and all of their agility and failure. When I first started improvising 30 plus years ago, improvisation was a very small part of the dance world. I mean, certainly everybody improvises at some point in their work, but the people who did improvisation as a performance art or contact improvisation were sort of in a very small niche. And in the span of the 35 years I've been doing this, improvisation has, has changed in the field and now it's become much, much more important to the whole field. And so more and more people are being drawn to improvisation, seeing it as something that could enhance what they're already doing. <laughs> One of the challenges in contact is if you're in a doing mode, you're launching yourself into the future, but you're, you're leaving the present moment. So I said to them, focus on what is perceivable in this moment. The people are working to try to stay sensitive and to, as Nancy Stark Smith says, replace ambition with curiosity. One of the aspects of my work with Angie is that we have a long history of teaching together. And in our work, the teaching and the performance research are intertwined. When we're teaching performance improvisation, we're exploring both the sort of principles behind the work, but our most current research. We're engaging with the students and with concerns and questions that are relevant to us at that moment. And through teaching together, we're able to deepen our interrogation of these ideas so that when we are in performance, we have that additional layer of understanding of each other and how, how we're approaching the work. <laughs> 